Hi there, my name is Lawrence Tyndall, and in today's ServiceNow tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a scheduled report. Before we go into the system and create a scheduled report, I'd like to quickly explain what one is. A scheduled report is a report that is automatically sent out via email from the system. For example, you could have a weekly report that includes all incidents that breach their SLAs for that week and get sent to the Service Desk Manager every Friday afternoon. Scheduled reports are fantastic if you'd like to automatically receive reports of data on a regular basis. For today's demo, we're going to create a report that contains hardware assets that are missing an asset tag and have it automatically sent out once a week to the Asset Manager. This will inform the Asset Manager of the assets so he can go and add asset tags to those assets. To get started, open up ServiceNow and type in Reports in the Application Navigator and click on the View Run module located underneath the Reports application. You'll now be navigated to the Reports module where you can see a list of all reports. Click on the Create a Report button. In the Report Name field, I'm going to enter Hardware Assets with no Asset Tag. And then in the Table field, I'm going to select the ALM underscore hardware table, as this is where the hardware assets are located. Now click on the next button. On the list view, I'm going to add a filter, so only hardware assets without an asset tag are displayed. Now when I apply the filter, you can see there are only 8 assets with no asset tags visible. To schedule this report, click on the save button, and then click on the share button located at the bottom left of the screen. Now click on the schedule hyperlink located underneath the sharing section. You'll now be presented with this schedule an email containing this report modal. Within this modal, you can define the name of the scheduled report, the users, groups and email addresses in which you'd like this report to be sent to, the frequency of when it should be run, the time when it should be run, the subject of the email, the email message, the format of the report, this could be PDF, Excel or CSV, and several other options. There is also an option you can check that will stop the report from being sent if the report has no records in it. This can be enabled by checking the Omit if no records field. For demo purposes, I'm going to select a random user for this report to be sent to and then select the frequency to be weekly, sent out on Fridays at 11 a.m. In the subject field, I'm going to enter hardware assets with no asset tags. And then in the introductory message field, I'm going to type in the attached report contains all hardware assets that are missing asset tags. For the type of file, I'm going to select Excel. Now to save this scheduled report, click on the Submit button. The scheduled report is now set up and will automatically be sent out when the scheduled time arrives. To preview what the scheduled report looks like, we can head over to the scheduled reports module, click on the scheduled report record, and then click on the execute now button. This will now fire off the scheduled report to the defined user. Since we're using a PDI for the demo, emails aren't actually sent from the system, but we can go to the outbox module to preview the email. As you can see, you can see the email in the outbox with the report attached as an Excel file. And it's as easy as that. Creating a scheduled report is a simple task in ServiceNow and provides you with a lot of value. If you like this video, click on the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe.